Hey everyone, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. Since this is the end of this month, also this is an end to a very important event. Can you guys guess what event it is? It is the end of India's presidency at the United Nations Security Council. So many of you would know this thing already that India was the president of UNSC for the month of August. But before bidding adieu to the UNSC, India has launched a very important technological platform. And what is that platform that we will be covering in this video only. Apart from this, since this is the end of this month, therefore I have taken, I have brought up a list of MOUs that have been recently signed or approved by the union cabinet. So the, these MOUs have been signed with other countries and what are the relevance of those MOUs that we will be discussing. Apart from this, two important maritime exercises, not actually maritime, military exercises have taken place. So we will be covering that as well, along with the National Intellectual Property Award. So a lot is there to be discussed in this video. So stick together with me towards the end of this video, till the end of this video. So let's begin. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. And this is the morning tales, which is helpful for your RBS SEBI and award examination. So let's begin the questions. But before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel, guys, then do subscribe and hit the bell notification. You can also join this Telegram group, which will help you in getting the PDF of our sessions. So the link of this Telegram group is in description below. You can just download the application and click on that link in order to join this group. So here we have the first question, which edition of the CAS end exercise took place in 2021? So a lot of questions are being emerged from this one, one phrase itself, the CAS end exercise, the name itself. So we will be discussing all the aspects related to this exercise, but let's first discuss the question itself. That is the edition of CAS end exercise. So it was the fifth edition that has recently taken place or basically it is going it is starting from today till september 11 okay so this is the date of this exercise not important for you to remember don't remember the date i'm just stating this as a fact okay now this exercise takes place between india and kazakhstan can you guys tell me that which military force takes play take which military force participates in this cas and exercise is it an army exercise is it a naval exercise or is it an air force exercise or is it a coast guard exercise which exercise is this that you have to tell me in the comment section below okay but before moving to the next question i'm going to give you a hint so the hint is that the venue of this exercise is asia bb this is a village in kazakhstan so i hope the smart ones have already guessed the answer to the question that i have asked so this is the place where this exercise took place and this exercise was held between India and Kazakhstan. This is the fifth edition of this exercise. So that's all to this question. Now let's move on to the next question. Which of the following countries has rejoined the Malabar exercise after dropping out of it in 2007? So Japan, Russia, India, Australia, US are in the options. The right answer is Australia. And remember, Russia does not participate in this Malabar exercise. This is the exercise between the Quad countries. So Quad is the grouping formed by US, India, Japan and Australia in order to counter China's expansionist policies in the Indo-Pacific region. Okay, so this time, basically recently, the 25th edition of the Malabar exercise took place uh, in the Philippine Sea of the coast of Guam. So this Guam is basically a US territory, a US island territory, but it also has its capital. Since this exercise has taken place off the coast of Guam in Philippine Sea, therefore it is your responsibility to cover the capital and currency of this this uh, uh, ter territory since i have already told you that this is a us island territory therefore the currency is us dollar but what is the capital so i am leaving out this question for you 
do tell me the capital in the comment section below as far as this this exercise is uh, concerned so let me tell you the background of this exercise so the first edition of this exercise took place in 1992 between india and us so it was a bilateral exercise bilateral naval exercise between india and us japan joined it in 2015 and australia participated in it in 2007 but later withdrew in the wake of chinese resistance so china resisted against this exercise so australia withdrew from this exercise but in 2020 it rejoined the malabar exercise and this time it is conducting this exercise with the other three quad members in the philippine sea of the coast of guam okay so this is the venue that you have to remember now the other way round a tricky question that can be framed out of this news is that which edition of malabar exercise took place in 2020 i am saying 2020 mein kaun sa edition hua tha because 2020 wala edition is important because of australian participation so in 2020 it was the 24th edition that took place and this time it is the 25th edition i hope i am clear to you now let's move on to the next question recently the union cabinet has approved an mou between the indian council of medical research and jardp foundation on antimicrobial resistance research and innovation to strengthen relations within the framework of international scientific and technological collaboration and to promote cooperation in the field of mutual interest which country does the latter belong to so this jardp foundation belongs to which country germany finland denmark netherlands switzerland are in the options out of which switzerland is the right answer now the purpose of this mou is collaboration in the field of this antimicrobial resistance so basically the basic purpose is the scientific and technological collaboration and if you have to funnel it down if you have to narrow it down the exact collaboration would be in this antimicrobial resistance now what is the antimicrobial resistance it is basically the resistance to drugs that microbes develop okay therefore it is advisable to complete the course of medicine whenever you contact any kind of disease okay what we do we just take half of the medicine and then we feel better we just leave out the course in between this is very dangerous to our health because it develops antimicrobial resistance half of the bacteria dies in our body but the remaining half develops the resistance towards or against that drug which is very dangerous for our body and a report by un has stated that by 2050 almost 10 million people would die every year due to this antimicrobial resistance if necessary actions are not taken right now so that is all about the antimicrobial resistance and about the mou in general so now you know guys how much important it is to take the medicine completely so whenever you fall ill god forbid but if you fall ill then just complete the course of medicine that has been prescribed to you by the doctor okay now let's move on to the next question which country does the foundation of innovative new diagnostics find belong to with which the indian council of medical research has signed an mou for collaboration for scientific and technological research us canada brazil switzerland australia are in the option so here or switzerland is the right answer again now guys under this mou basically the difference here is that mou is focused on antimicrobial resistance and this mou is focused on the medical science in general okay now the peculiar point the unique point or the salient feature of this mou is that icmr would contribute us dollar 1 lakh and find would contribute us dollar 4 lakh okay uh, basically this much funding support will be given to the 
organizations local research organizations that will be selected under this mou for conducting the research in different different uh, aspects of medical science so that is the salient point of this mou that you need to re uh, remember for your exam point of view and do remember the full form of this find and the country to which it belongs so guys here is the list of some of the important mous that have been approved by the union cabinet recently so let's have a look at these mous the first mou is between the national disaster management authority and bangladesh ministry of disaster management and relief again from the participants involved in this mou the purpose is getting clear the purpose is the collaboration in the field of disaster management re resilience and mitigation the next mou is with geological survey of india and florida international university for cooperation in the field of geology okay and here is the third mou so so far we have discussed four mous this one is the fifth mou in total so union cabinet has approved the mou between this permanent mission of india to the wto center for trade and investment law of the indian institute of foreign trade center for trade and economic integration within this graduate institute of international and development studies in geneva again switzerland is the country theek hai so here the main parties to this mou our permanent mission to the wto this is the first party center for trade and investment law is the third party sorry is the second party and this center for trade and economic integration is the third party so these two are indian parties and this one is the uh, foreign party with which this mou has been signed now what is the purpose of signing this mou the purpose is to strengthen the international trade and investment law basically to give training to indian personnel indian officials of department of commerce and indian institute of foreign trade basically the center for trade and investment law will be participating in this training program so training will be given to indian officials in the field of international trade and investment law not only training but capacity building pro programs will also be conducted under this under this mou okay so that was all about the mous that have been recently approved by the union cabinet next comes which of the following initiatives has been launched by the ministry of health and family welfare to allow citizens of india to volunteer in the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana and spread awareness about the scheme in addition to increasing the number of beneficiaries under the scheme so here we have five options Sanjeevani Mitra, Arogya Mitra, Ayurvedic Mitra, Ayushman Mitra, Ayush Mitra. Which one is the right answer? The right answer is Ayushman Mitra. So let me first give you the background of this news. Recently, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has conducted this Arogya Dhara 2.0 event. Why was this event uh, held, or why was this event organized? So the very first reason is that since its launch, the Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana has uh, has done two crore hospital admissions. So basically, we can say this scheme has treated two crore people. Two crore hospital admission. So on this occasion, on this fiat, in order to celebrate this achievement, this event was organized. Okay. The next progress that the Ayushman Bharat scheme has made. Remember, the scheme was launched in 2018 only. So since its launch, it has treated two crore people. And in the treatment of two crore people, the total expenditure has been 25,000 crores. Okay. so this much amount has already been spent by the government on this uh, scheme 23000 hospitals have been impaneled uh, under this scheme across 33 states and union territories 
So this is the progress that has been made under the Ayushman Bharat scheme. And in order to celebrate this progress, this event, Arogya Dhara 2.0, was organized. Now, during this event, three initiatives were launched by the Ministry of Health. The minister is Mansuk Mandavia. So three initiatives are, the first initiative is this Ayushman Mitra. The second initiative is Adhikar Patra. The third initiative is Abhinandan Patra. Now, Ayushman Mitra, uh, the basic purpose of launching this Ayushman Mitra has been declared or provided in the question itself. That is, under this Ayushman Mitra initiative, or we can say the scheme, Ayushman Mitra scheme, people like me and you, we can also go and register ourselves as the volunteers under this scheme. So, we will be, uh, we will be classified as Ayushman Mitras, okay, the friend. Now, what will be the purpose? What will be the function of the Ayushman Mitra? The basic function would be to spread the awareness about Ayushman Bharat scheme and increase the number of beneficiaries. So basically, awareness will be created among the people who do not know about the Ayushman Bharat scheme. And in this manner, the outreach of the Ayushman Bharat scheme will be increased, will be enhanced. So that is the basic idea behind the Ayushman Mitra scheme. The next is Adhikar Patra. So Adhikar means rights, Patra means paper. So when the person, the beneficiary of the Ayushman Bharat scheme would enter the hospital for treatment, he will be given this Adhikar Patra, the document of rights, in which all the rights, all the rights to which the beneficiaries are entitled will be, will be mentioned. So that the beneficiary can ask for the free treatment, the cashless treatment under the scheme from the hospitals in addition to the supplementary benefits that are there under this scheme okay so adhikar patra is basically the patra or the uh, or the document that will provide information to the beneficiaries about their rights the next is abhinandan patra is this is basically a thank you note that will be given on the discharge to the patient so there is nothing in this Avinandan Patra, it is basically a thank you note. Thank you for visiting the hospital under this scheme. So these were the initiatives. This was the progress. I hope that this news is clear to you now. Identify the technological platform launched by India and UN for enhancing the security of UN peacekeeping forces. Okay, before, before even moving on to their discussion, I would la like to ask a question from you. And that question is the UN Peacekeeping Day. That you have to mention in the comment section below. The date of the day. Okay, as far as this question is concerned, Unite Aware is the platform that has been launched by India as, as part of its presidency of UNSC in collaboration with United Nations. Now, under this platform basically the intelligence and information services will be improved so that attacks on the peacekeeping forces can be reduced and their efficiency can be increased so in order to increase the security of the peacekeeping forces this technological platform has been developed by india in partnership with united nations so this is a really good step because a lot of people die in their peacekeeping operations and this is a very tragic news so in order to protect their lives, protect the lives of those who protect our lives, this technological platform has been launched. I hope this much is clear to you. Now do not forget to mention your answer in the comment section below. Now there is an MOU also between India and UNC CAP. So this is the academy where the peacekeeping forces are trained. So these two have uh, these two have signed an MOU for collaboration for supporting the uh, supporting the training of the peacekeeping forces. Okay. Next and last question is which is the only public sector undertaking to receive the National Intellectual Property Awards 2020 from the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. 
so for the year 2020 international sorry national intellectual property awards were given by the ministry of commerce and there are different categories out of those categories one category belongs to public sector undertakings and in that category the engineers india limited has won the award the national ip award now let's have a look at these awards in detail A total of 14 winners are there in different categories, but only the important categories have been put here. Okay. Individual award for patent and commercialization, or we can say VPO medal for inventors. So this is basically the other name of the same award. So Vishwesh Srinivasan has got this award. Indian Academic Institution for Patents and Com Commercialization, Amity University, Noida. Public limited company or private limited company for patent and commercialization in India or before IP enterprise trophy. So these two are uh, different names of the same award goes to engineers India limited top Indian MSME for patent and commercialization goes to India Forge technology private limited guys a total of 14 winners were there but only four are mentioned here because these I found very important other other awardees are not very important in my opinion but if you want the complete list of winners then the link has already been provided by me in the official document the current affairs document which you can download from the link given in the description below not download basically read the uh, pdf so that was all i hope that you have found the entire lecture interesting thank you so much for watching the video